Goku and Zaiko are facing each other. One of the five most powerful warriors in the universe appears in front of Goku in Universe 16, the universe known as the Carnage of the Gods. That Supreme Saiyan who can finish off anyone who appears in his universe. In the past, Universe 16 was considered as the destroying universe of the gods. Only when someone was punished and punished for a heavenly crime was he sent for possible redemption. But this redemption was only possible if the being that was thrown into Universe 16 managed to get out alive. Nobody ever managed to get out of this place alive because whoever was there was the Supreme Saiyan who was among the five most powerful in the universe, who had already waged several battles against the Great Priest. His name was Zyko, that Saiyan who wore a greenish outfit with whitish hair and black cracks on his face. His power was far greater than that of a god of destruction. After the angel Zyros appeared and began to tell Goku about the truth of the Saiyans and reveal everything about what had happened. The angel Zyros takes Goku alongside the unknown presence directly to Universe 16, saying that this would be the training that Goku would have to perform in order to become more powerful. The battle of Goku vs Zyko, one of the five most powerful in the universe, begins. Goku in Universe 16 says, It means then that you are the one who wants to overcome everything and everyone. Don't you think I'll go easy on you? I'm not afraid at all. After all, if you manage to get strong this way, it's because you're a Saiyan. Know that I am too. At that instant, a shudder begins to occur within Universe 16. Zyko teleports behind Goku and says, you literally don't know who you're messing with, Saiyan. That will be your end. The battle begins. Alright my partner, click on that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos and stay connected to our entire universe of the Z Warriors. Now let's get back to the point. Goku raises his power directly to Ultra Instinct while Zyko starts checking his ability and says, even as a Saiyan, it's surprising that you can raise that power so high. Surely, you must have had some angelic training. Looks fantastic. So does that mean that in Universe 7, there were such powerful Saiyans? Good. This is getting to be fascinating. So I'm going to have to raise a little bit more of my strength with you. Zyko raises his key infinitely. The other universes begin to shudder. Directly in Universe 7, everyone starts to realize that a Big Bang light years ago was happening. Krillin, alongside the other Z warriors on Earth, watch and speak. It feels like I feel Goku's energy from light years away. But at the same time, I can feel a power of a Saiyan that is much higher. Palace of Zuno the one who knows everything. Everyone wonders where the voice that spoke of the Zero Mortals plan had come from. Everyone asks for more answers. Vegeta, Gohan, Beerus and Whis arrive at Zuno's palace and everyone feels the great energy that was being released there. At that moment, we can see that a great battle was about to begin. Beerus starts asking Zuno several questions. Zuno started making puns saying that so he could answer. Everyone would have to figure out the riddles he told. Beerus points as if to perform a Hakai directly on Zuno and speaks. We don't have time for Zuno pranks. I need you to help me right now. We are talking about the face of the universe. We starts to laugh and says, don't be so rude, Sir Beerus. Zuno is also a celestial being and he's only doing it because it's his duty. Let's unravel his riddles. Directly to Universe 16, Goku begins to have great difficulties fighting Zyko. Zyros observes and speaks. It seems to me that Goku thought it would be easy to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. When last year the heavenly war had been created, 
we can see that many things had happened differently and so the real skill that has been shown about them. We think about many things. We need to really try to understand how strong Zaiko has become since that time. If Goku will really be able to fight or if we'll have to discard him for the next celestial war. The unknown being says, Again you with these thoughts of yours, Zyros. You know very well that you would have to train this Saiyan in a totally different way. It seems that you already want to throw him directly on a path to be killed by the beings that appeared. You are very funny, but let's analyze very well everything that will happen. I'm sure one of these two won't be able to stand up after this battle, and it doesn't look like Zyko. Zyko begins to raise his powers more and more, and the power of the nascent Uzaru begins to rise over Zyko, but at the same time, a power of darkness begins to combine with his strength. True strength begins to show. Everyone starts to understand. The true power is being revealed. The real energy is starting to develop. Goku starts to build up his strength because he knows that if he misses a move, he can be killed. His energy was starting to rise alongside Zyko's great energy. Goku tries to unleash several attacks on Zyko, but still he can't land any hits. It seemed like Zyko was always one step ahead of Goku. Zyko starts throwing several blows at Goku until the moment Goku falls to the ground. Zyko prepares to deliver the final blow. At that moment, the angel Zyro says, Good. Looks like it didn't work. I really believe that Son Goku could do something different, but it's really going to stay that way. Zuno's Palace after Zuno told everyone the whole truth, everyone starts to be shocked to see that the real enemies had made an alliance and all the universes were in great danger. Gohan says, It seems that the threat is much greater than we thought. This time the threat is universal. It appears that all universes will have to face great battles in my father's absence. We're really going to need to protect the earth. A great boom erupts on Earth in Universe 7. Whis and Beerus say, Looks like you're going to have to resolve this situation before you go back in search of Goku. Gohan says, Come on, Sir Vegeta, Earth needs us. A dark being very similar to Vegeta with body hair appears on the ground and starts talking. So this is the Earth of Universe 7. Is this where the most powerful warriors in this universe exist? Very interesting. The time has come to end everyone here. Come on, now is the time. The being begins to destroy practically the entire universe. The Z warriors appear, but the Z warriors end up getting a beating from the dark being. Gohan and Vegeta arrive on Earth after seeing everyone fallen to the ground. Gohan starts to smile and says, You seem to be very strong, managed to cause a major catastrophe in the midst of it all. But it doesn't matter. We were already waiting for you. That will be your end. A massive attack is launched at Gohan and Vegeta. The two are paralyzed and say, What is it? The being of darkness says, Does that mean that Saiyans believe they could do something against me? I will finish you now. Back to Universe 16, Goku lying on the ground becomes very weak and starts to reflect. If it really goes on like this, I'm finished. This angel from Universe 15 doesn't care about me, and this unknown being, I don't even know why he's watching this battle. If this really goes on like this, that will be the end of me. I need to think about what to do soon. Goku tries to activate Level 2 Ultra Instinct. However, when Goku raises his power, his energy is drained. Zyko observes and speaks. It's no use trying to raise your power so much. Your energy is very pure. 
within this universe all the energy that is combined with the energy of an angel ends up being drained. You would need to have at least a little power of destruction to be able to raise your full strength. So that won't do much good. That will be your end, Goku. At that moment, even with the Ultra Instinct disabled, Goku tries to land several attacks on Zaiko. Zaiko starts to dodge and laugh and says, It looks like it's really good to play with another Saiyan. I swear that I will leave this universe to be able to end the beings that are among the most powerful. The great priest is still around, isn't he? I can feel his energy from light years away. Well, it doesn't matter. That will be your end, Goku. Zaiko launches Goku to the outskirts of Universe 16. The angel Zyro says, It looks like it didn't do any good. I think it's time to get out of here. Goku is just junk, by the way. At that moment, Goku begins to raise a great energy and a destructive power begins to be created. The entire planet begins to shake. Zaiko is impressed at that moment. Goku prepares to launch a massive blow at Zaiko and dodges. However, Goku manages to hit him in the face. Zaiko is knocked away. Goku at that moment falls to the ground and starts breathing heavily. Zaiko appears again and says, How dare you? Who do you think you are? Zaiko prepared to land the final blow on Goku. A new presence appears. A voice arises and speaks. Don't you think you can attack the mortal from Universe 7? After all, he's from my brother's planet. And if my brother can't help, I'm here to save this mortal. Furious Psycho says, Who is talking? A faint, unfamiliar smile appears. To be continued. Oh, my partner, it seems that now the battles are going to get much, much more intriguing. Who came to save Goku? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so that we can get into a crazy debate. Click on that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.